Good morning, guys. It's another weekend working in the shop on the car, trying to get it ready. We're uh, working on the steering today. Got the steering column out. I'm just fitting the uh, U-joint to the column. I got it where I wanted it and then uh, drilled some shallow pilot holes just for the set screws to sit in so it can't move. Even if they loosen off, they'll have to loosen off quite a bit. But to reinstall the column back in the car and we got our steering U-joint for the steering box. Let me grab some light. All right, we got our steering U-joint for the steering box. It ended up being a three quarter 30 spline. And that fits on nice. It's got a set screw set on the flat. We'll lock that down. The steering's gonna come through here. Right here, there'll be a nut welded for the heim for support. And then there'll be another U-joint to come around the control arm right here up to where the column is. So we're gonna go ahead, get the column back in the car and show you guys what that looks like. The steering shaft is done and it works perfectly. Once I get up in the air, I'll build some little uh, gussets to go on the bottom side of that nut to support it on the back side, but it's not going anywhere. One more thing off the list. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. Seven o'clock on Sunday. And I'm beat. But got all the air system working, all the air system plumbed. I have the engine wiring all done. It's all tucked up under the dash behind the glove box there. Uh, what I have left to do is the lighting harness. So that will start tackling through the week. Still gotta do the fuel system. I'll do that one of the nights this week. Cooling system as well. So still have lots to do. Gonna start working weeknights on it. And I have all this week of weeknights. Uh, next weekend and a, potentially the whole following weekend after that. We can leave Monday, worst case, but I'd like to try and leave Sunday if we can. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today. I'm probably gonna wrap this into next week's video as well. So just like that is gonna be next weekend. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, the weekend before we leave and the car still does not run. But that's hopefully gonna change today. So this past week I was able to get out and get the other fuel tank out of the car. There's the uh, fuel pump assembly I made way back when. And last night I stayed late and started uh, getting the new fuel ring fitted to the tank. So I just need to finish uh, TIG welding that. Once I get that all tigged up and check it for leaks, we can install it in the car and then start running the fuel lines. Need to do that. Still need to bleed the brakes. Need to do a cooling system. Uh, need to finish some wiring. And then the drive shaft, got that back this week. It's been uh, chilling under my toolbox. So yeah, there's still tons of stuff to do. Uh, we want to leave next Sunday, and today is Saturday. So yeah, had some stuff show up from Amazon. It's the basic tank mount. Got some uh, pass-throughs for the. Uh, positive cable and for the trunk area and get this open got some bus bars just to make adding a couple connections easy I figure for the air compressors that'll be the easiest thing to do just pop one of those in there run a cable from the positive of the battery over to those 
make a connection, super easy. And then for the positive cable from the back to the front, run it inside. And then right by the starter on the floor is where I'll put this pass through. And it just isolates the power from whatever you're putting it through. So in this case, the body and uh, install that, hook up the starter. I'm only gonna film uh, like the finished products. I'm not gonna do the in-betweens right now. I apologize, but I'm running out of time. So we're gonna uh, get started on that. So I'm gonna go weld a fuel tank and I'll check back in. What are we doing, Matt? We are welding the bumper brackets onto the frame. And how long do we have to get the car ready, Matt? A week. I already covered that this morning. So you already told them that you're going to Arizona in like eight days. At the most nine days. Don't you try and hide from me. I can see you. Get over here. For those of you who don't know, it's his lovable mixed sidekick, Jared. <laughs> All right. Does this thing do slow-mo? You should, yeah. All right, it's seven o'clock Saturday night and I got updates. Rear wheel cylinders, bleeder screws snapped off. Wiring, still not done. Fuel system, still not done. Cooling system, still not done. So, got wheel cylinders coming for Monday. Hopefully put those in. Get the, the brakes bled. I'm hoping tomorrow to finish the fuel system finish the wiring. Uh, I have an idea of what to do for the cooling system right there. This hose, I was able to stretch it on and it fits pretty good. That hose, what I'm gonna do is take a piece of pipe and make it fit inside the rubber hose and then take a piece of rubber and go over the whole thing, clamp it and clamp it. A piece of pipe inside this one will stop it from collapsing and that should be a pretty good seal. As for fuel system, I just had to modify the filler neck because I guess, I guess this tank doesn't fit this car actually. It's still warm. So I'll show you what had to be done here. So that slides in there, just like so. So, the old filler neck went in, and here it is here, and the pipe ended up way over here. So I'm not sure, this gas tank might be for something different, and whoever did the trunk floor was gonna make it work, because that filler neck, like I said, it curved and went over here. So I cut that off, three inch uh, exhaust pipe, uh, trimmed it to fit, welded it in. And as you can see, this is the old filler neck. It's curved, like I said. This is out of the other car and it's perfectly straight. I've trimmed it to size. And it's just gonna go in there like that. And then the connection between the gas tank and the filler neck will be this hose and that'll be that. And for the air system, I still gotta run the controller up here and wire in the pressure gauges. But the interior is pretty much done for the trip. We're not gonna get to door panels, unfortunately, which is fine. Uh, this window still is finicky, but that's fine. Uh, the front brakes, they do work. Before I leave, I gotta clean up. Uh, headlights. I need to get the headlights out of the other car and get them in this one because I want the LEDs no matter what. Uh, tomorrow I also have to finish up with the bumperettes. Those need to go in. I need to run power steering lines from the steering box over to the pump. 
Uh, need to run wires inside for the line lock and get that hooked up. Need to pop a hole through the firewall for the throttle cable. Uh, need to get a grommet for the wiring. But hey, it's only a week till we leave. That's fine. Oh, need to mount the mirrors. As you can tell, I'm pretty much done for Saturday. <laughs> Uh, I had Jared here helping me, which was awesome. We did get quite a bit done. That's the update for the 59. We have come up with a name for it. Kaylee wants to call it Coraline. So it's Coraline, the 1959 Coronet. But yeah, we're getting there. Uh, I'm going to clean up for the night now and go home and get some sleep. And be back here bright and early tomorrow. Uh, hopefully get the wiring done, get the fuel system and cooling system done. And fire this thing up so that uh, Monday when the wheel cylinders show up, I can slap those on, get some exhaust on it and start driving it a little bit. I'd like to make sure there was no other damage done from the burnout. Uh, that's been something that's been weighing on my mind quite a bit. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a small block Chevy based engine. It's an LT1. They're a very durable engine, so I'm not super worried about it, but I just wanna make sure because we have a long way to go. Uh, Ontario, Canada to Denver, Colorado. Then from Denver, Colorado, uh, we'll be picking up uh, my friend Jake and we're going to Arizona. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go home, get some sleep and catch you guys in the morning. Okay, I haven't left yet. I wanted to get this figured out. So this is what I was talking about. Got the piece of metal pipe inside the smaller rad hose and then have a larger rad hose over top. And then this just goes on like so. And that, I just gotta trim it to fit now and put that on there. And boom, we have a rad hose. So I'll go ahead and get that tightened. That's gonna work perfectly. Get that trimmed up and on. And then just have to build the upper mount for the rad. The lower one's done. Then I need to figure out electric fan. I think I have one at home in the uh, stash. It should fit nicely. So yeah, uh, I am now gonna go home. It's eight o'clock. So we'll catch you guys in the morning for real this time. All right, it's about 4.30 on Sunday. And I believe I have it wired up enough that we're gonna see if it's gonna run. There's no exhaust, so it's gonna be loud. When I turn the key, we should hear a fuel pump. Yep. We'll prime the fuel pump a couple times. Make sure we're getting fuel. Fire in the hole. All right, now that we've had it running, I want to work on getting the rest of the lighting wiring done. So we're swapping in the LED headlights right now. And I can run the rest of these wires where they need to go, hook them up. We have the front end done, everything's wired. Let me go turn that on and show you guys. Just gotta finish up the wiring inside the car.
Okay, it's Tuesday night, the week before we leave. And I got updates, some of them not so good. So I tried to take the rear end apart to put the posi in it. And when I took the uh, pin that holds the center pin out, it uh, was previously broken. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So that's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what I got out of it. So that's broke off. That's awesome. So not sure what we're doing there yet. I got to decide on that. Uh, also, yesterday, Monday morning, when I backed the car out, the uh, hydraulic clutch let go. So that was great. have uh, one of those ordered. A complete uh, clutch master slave in line. Uh, that'll be here tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, did I uh, got the rat eater mounted? Need to do the power steering. Uh, we did get brakes. I got two new wheel cylinders. Got those installed. Got the brakes bled, and we have brakes, so that's awesome. So I'll give you guys an update tomorrow night. Okay, here is the Wednesday night updates. We have the rat eater mounted. We have the power steering reservoir and power steering lines routed. Unfortunately, the return line on the power steering pump has a small leak. So I will work on getting that ordered tomorrow. Uh, all the cooling lines are done. Cooling system is filled. Next, we have the clutch slave and master assembly showed up today. So I changed that and we have a clutch. That is amazing. In other news, we have taillights. Would you just look at it? Taillights even have a plate light. We even have license plates. Imagine that, we're getting so close, but so far. We have the switch panel mounted for the airbags. We have turn signals. And they work. Front marker lights, front turn signals. It is midnight on Wednesday. Well, it's 10, 10 minutes to midnight. So we're almost Thursday morning. But we're so close. So tomorrow, I have to finish the exhaust and then get that installed. I have to install a rad fan and wire that. Uh, we are probably gonna need that. Just gotta tuck up the hidden wiring, make it hidden. Uh, pop some holes and some zip ties, make that disappear. This is the uh, wire for the rad fan. Gotta hook it up inside. Uh, something that I can do in Colorado is hook up the line lock. That's really easy. Just run it inside, add a power, hook it up to the switch. I'm sorry if I seem sarcastic, but I'm just tired. All right, peace. Captain's log. Thursday night, very late. I have the alignment done. That took over two hours to get that right. But I'm happy with it. We have part of an exhaust system on it. It actually sounds really good. I need to finish the rest of the exhaust system tomorrow, but it's good enough to drive home tonight. I uh, got the power steering leak fixed. I uh, checked the grease in the front wheel hubs. It's good. Uh, all the fluids are topped up and checked. All right, we are ready to hit the road for the very first time. Definitely need to do that rear gear, but that's not in the time frame right now. I'm going to drive. 
drive home. And I'll bring you guys in if anything happens, but if not, that means that I made it home perfectly fine. First drive, made it home. Captain's log, Friday night. The trunk is done. Very happy with how that turned out. Moving along to the cabin. I have just a little bit of wiring left to do, but the majority of it is done. We have some armrests just to make things a little bit more comfortable for the drive. And then tomorrow I need to vacuum out all the uh, wire clippings. Do that, get that cleaned up. I still have to wire in the air pressure gauge. So I'll do that tomorrow. I'd like to get the cup holder and power port installed as well. Moving along under the hood, we're done. This is it, under the hood is done. Well, other than wiring in the line lock, which I'm gonna do in Colorado, because that's not a need to do right now. And we got our power steering. We now have a rad fan that went in actually really easy. So yeah, we are chugging right along and should be able to leave tomorrow afternoon, no problem. I'm gonna drive it home again tonight, drive it back into the shop tomorrow morning and uh, they'll be driving it home twice and we're good to go. All right, we are ready to hit the road. It's, uh, it's been a long week, but we're finally ready to hit the road. Got the uh, car all done. We're just dropping our dogs off and we're gonna hit the road. I uh, do prefer night driving. But let me show you guys. Might be, yeah, it's really hard to see. I'll show you guys better in here tomorrow when it's daylight, probably uh, somewhere along the route, but Wiring's done, suspension's done, we got mirrors. Uh, I went through, did a complete bolt check before I left. All the lighting works. It's, uh, can't wait, it's gonna be a good trip. <laughs> 